Got a little bit of time on my hands tonight before I go in and make dinner and go to sleep. I figured I'd do something on the car, and I figured the easiest thing I can do is set up this Dash 10 drain, drain line for the turbo. I've never put A in lines together, but I watch YouTube. Looks pretty easy, and YouTube doesn't lie. So I'm going to take this line here, go measure it, see where I want to cut it, and then come back, press them on, and see how it fits. Didn't even take a minute, and I found the first issue. So, if you look here, hold on, let me see that square drain hole. Okay, square gasket, perfect. Round flange, not what I wanted. It'll work for now. I'll, I'll put it on because even if I buy a uh, square flange, it's going to be the same length hose so I'll still use it measure it up maybe even just get the car running with it but I'll be on the hunt for a uh, larger square one I had to come back in and cut this drain line again but I finally got it fitting pretty good so that's pretty much how the drains gonna be set up right there a nice smooth loop coming down I could make it a little bit shorter a little bit tighter but it just make it a little bit more difficult to get on but that should work fine the way that is. All right, let me get started on this fuel system. I think I'm gonna get started on the um, fuel pump hanger first. Get that bulk fit in on. One more package, actually what I thought it was gonna be. Injectors. Should be found a set of injectors on eBay. So I'm gonna take them out here real quick. get a better look at them. So these come advertised as brand new Bosch 2200 injectors with factory Toyota plugs on them. But right now I'm going to throw them in the uh, car, see how they fit inside the uh, fuel rail and inside the intake manifold, inside the little bosses that come with the uh, fuel rail. See how they fit. If they fit fine, then I'm going to take them over to my buddy Herbie's. I'm going to have them flow test them, see how close they are, see if they really flow 2200, and then go from there. One piece steel drive shaft from Drift Motion. Used piece. Found it on eBay. It was cheap, inexpensive, nothing crazy, right measurements I needed. Of course, I'm going to double check, make sure it fits. But like I said, I just want to get the car running first. Low boost, nothing crazy, pump gas, single wall bro. So at least this is a one piece steel one. Later on when I go to turn it up, I'll get a uh, one piece aluminum one with uh, 1350 U-joints. So this will get me by for now. Since I already have the tranny sitting inside of the, uh, the tunnel where it's supposed to be, I'm gonna go ahead and get this shaft in, make sure it fits right before I get started on anything else. And then hopefully, not tomorrow, but the day after, I'll come back from class get started on the fuel system. Tell you what, filming in the car is very hard, but as you can see here, in the transmission, one piece all the way back, and it lines up perfect. So, good purchase, I got lucky. So, one thing, check off the list. Perfect. Yeah, we go to the parts store or something like that. Alright, finally getting started on the fuel system with John. Yeah, boy, John. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what we're working on right now is this uh, fuel hanger. We got to chop off some of these top ports so we can put some AN fittings on for the return and the feed. We're going to do a dash 8 feed and a dash six return. So we're gonna start chopping this thing up. Alright, so I got these stock huh? stock lines off. Hey, I'm trying to measure out oh, where I'm gonna put this dash eight ninety that I'm gonna put in here. So I got it 
Push it out right. Hold on. Right there. So let me go ahead and drill that out. See how this fits. All right, got this fuel hanger drilled out for the feed side for the dash aid I'm going to use. So here's the plan. So it's going to be this dash 90 bulkhead with a couple nylon washers, a couple nuts to hold it on, and have this barb fitting to go onto the hose from the fuel pump. But there was a problem with this. It's two pieces. There's no o-ring inside of it, nothing like that to hold the seal. So I need to order another one to one piece to get that going. But let me see how this all fits on the fuel hanger. All right, so I got it together. It's a 90 degree bulkhead, washer on top, washer on the bottom, nut holding the bulkhead, and then a barb fitting, which I'm changing to another one I'm ordering from Summit. From Summit. So the fuel hanger is gonna hang down there, or the fuel pump's gonna hang there. I'm gonna put a worm clamp on it, keep it to the pump, and I'm gonna run some lines and start making some fittings. All right, next step. Hold on. Oh shit. This doesn't fit. Oh wait. Yeah, it does. Wait, does it? Time to put this fuel hanger in and start running the line. So I got this 90 degree bulkhead with a nut sitting on there. And actually the first time I went to go put it in, it didn't fit. I'll show you why. See that little tab right there? This one right there. I was actually sticking out perpendicular to the tank and I had to come in with a hammer and hammer it straight down. So it wouldn't stick out because it was hitting the nut that was holding on this bulkhead. So now we can get that on, all the bolts line up, this is backwards, but gonna hook that up and start running the fuel line to the front. Alright, change the plan. We're gonna take the stock line out first, John and I. Bad idea. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do right now. Well, the packages never stop. One more. Bolts. So you guess what they are? Transmission bolts I bought from drift from uh, drift motion. And I tell you what, I did a lot of research on these. I'm I'm a penny pincher. I'll save a save a dollar wherever I can. Went on Lowe's, pieced it together. Went on random websites, pieced it together. And I tell you what, buying these even with shipping is cheaper than what you're going to find in the store. So just order them from Drift Motion and save yourself the headache. All right, recap. I was over here working with my buddy John the other day, didn't get much done, we are working on his cars. So I got the bulkhead on the um, fuel hanger, so 90 degree bulkhead, dash 8, for the feed. I'm going to run the new hose now, snake it through, snake it down, run all the way to the front. But first got to take off all the stock lines, the uh, stock feed and stock return, get that off. So the plan is this 90 degree dash 8 bulkhead for the feed. I'm going to do a dash 6 return 9 degree bulkhead. Then I'm also going to upgrade the vent on it because you're going to have more fuel coming out. You're going to need a bigger vent on it to compensate for it. So first let me get the stock stuff out and I can start running the new stuff. Alright, step one, done. All the stock lines got them out. So it's the stock feed, stock return, and I think it's a vent line, something with a charcoal canister. Or something like that but there's pretty much all of them that I got out now the fun part running the new line all right I'm laying everything out so I can go ahead and make sure I have everything I need to run the dash 8 feed 
So I got vibrant performance dash eight feed. I've got a straight eight coming off the 90 degree bulkhead from the fuel pump hanger. That's gonna snake around towards the front. We're gonna have another straight eight going into the fuel filter. Then from the fuel filter, it's gonna be a 45 degree angle to go up into the engine bay. And then from there, it's gonna crawl up on the firewall and then go into this 90 degree on the back of the fuel rail. So that means I got everything for the feed. I'm gonna go ahead and start wiring that. All right, <clears throat> problem number one. So I'm getting the fuel system set up. I'm laying everything out, make sure I have every little fitting I need, make sure everything's sitting in the right spot so I get the right measurements. So I wanna get the fuel rail sitting up where I want it, make sure I get the right height. So I just put the uh, first and last injector on to get the height out of it. And it looked good. And actually, I, I noticed the injectors are a little tall because When I have them sitting there, you can see this mount is short. So that's the long mounts for the radium auto fuel rail with the stock Supra mount underneath it. And it's not long enough, but you know, it's not a big deal. I can have some longer mounts made. But as it sits now, when I go to put the throttle body on, Hold up. Okay, so my problem now is, so the fuel rail is sitting on at the height it's going to be, but it's hitting my VVTi throttle body right here on this little piece. So I'm trying to grind it down a little bit, see if I can get it to just fit past it. So that's what I'm working on right now. Alright, crisis averted. So I went ahead, I, I ground down that little tab that was giving me trouble. And then I was worried that the fitting that went onto the fuel rail wasn't gonna fit, but once I get that fitting flat, it just barely fits in there. You can see the room next to that bolt. And this is touching a little bit, but I don't think that'll be much, much of a problem. But that's good, we got the right height. Now I can go ahead and start running the fuel line from the back to the front. All right, see if I can get this. It's so hard to film under the car. So we got the rear end here, and you can see the braided hose coming in following the stock location. Coming around, it goes on the top side of that arm, comes through. I got a zip tied right here, it's not how it's gonna stay, just showing in a position that it's gonna route. Comes through, hold on, let me get a better, better angle of this. This is so hard. So, see that comes through. Nice thing about the car is it uses these little brackets right there so I can actually bolt that in it keeps the hose up I'm gonna leave it like that for now I'll secure it a little bit better but what I'm gonna do is get the car running and I want to come back in I'll take some aluminum bend it up and get it to fit the the, uh, the feed in return better than that but at least I know it's gonna follow that route that'll keep it in place for now and I'm gonna come back and make it better Comes around. So it has these little mounting points all over, all the way up to the front. I'm going to route it through that one right up there. I get the fuel filter in, 45 degree angle, then up to the fuel rail. So that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But like I said, these little hangers are just going to be temporary for now. <clears throat> Alright, just finished up the uh, feed side. So, let's see if we can look down there, you can see the uh, fuel filter. Mounted up down there, I got really lucky. There's a spot that the spacing between the holes almost was almost perfect to mount the fuel filter. I just had to elongate the holes on the fuel filter bracket a little bit, and then it bolted right in with pre-existing holes. So I got that in. I got the feed line ran from the back all the way to the front, up here to the filter. Comes up 90 to the fuel rail. And then I just have to do the exact same thing for the uh, 
for the return. It's not a big deal. The only thing I have to add is I'm going to add a the uh, fuel pressure regulator. I don't know where I'm going to mount it. Think of mounting it somewhere here in the intake manifold. But it's same process. So moving along pretty good. Oh, I forgot to show you one thing. Hold on. So I stumbled on a good deal on offer up the other day and couldn't pass it up. Yeah, wasn't expecting to go with one of these, but it was a good deal and I had to jump on it. It was actually cheaper than the EMU block that I was looking to buy. So when I see it, I jumped on it. That's pretty much all I'm going to get done today. So I got the feed side done. Like I said, I need to just run the opposite back for the feet for the uh, return dash six get the bulkhead fitting in here and then also upgrade the vent the size of the vent and I need to wire in all right so next thing I need to do is I need to wire in the fuel pump get it in wire it up gonna wire it up with a relay to the front I need to re relocate the battery here to the back of the car so I need to order the wires and bracket for that uh, I'm ordering a patch harness for the AM Infinity, and then shoot. Realistically, there's not not much left after that. Getting the engine engine and tranny bolted in finally. Where it's gonna where it's gonna go? I need to pull out the engine, pull out the tranny. Need to bolt the front crank pulley down. Need to put the flywheel and clutch assembly on the motor. Get the tranny on the motor. I'm going to put that in as one unit, bolt that in, fuel system will connect to that. Uh, got the ECU, going to use a stock harness, got the patch harness to connect to that. Um, the only other wiring I'll have to do is right here. I got some LQ9 coils I'm going to put in the car. So that's just probably the only wiring I have to do for the ECU really. And then might be able to start it. I don't know. Um, I mean, the the very last step I'll have to do is once I get the car started and make sure everything's good, I'll drive the car over, have the intercooler and exhaust piping done at a local fab shop. But besides that, that's it. Uh, pretty good day today getting the uh, fuel lines made and in the car.